I would like to start by giving the floor, as it is my honor, to Ms. Leila Alieva, the Vice President of the Haider Aliyev Foundation, the founder of International Dialogue on Environmental Action Campaign, and what gives me a lot of pleasure, the FAO Goodwill Ambassador. Her Excellency, the floor is yours. Thank you very much. Um, ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, first of all, I would like to welcome all guests uh, of the Baku Forum. Uh, it's very encouraging that people from all around the world have come together to discuss ways to advance intercultural dialogue. Um, dialogue among cultures and people is the only key to the world peace and prosperity. There is no acceptable alternative to such dialogue. The less dialogue and understanding we have, the more vacuum there are, will be for hate and ignorance. For centuries, Azerbaijan has been a place where various cultures, religions, and civilizations have merged. Throughout history, all people in Azerbaijan, uh, be they Muslims, Jews, or Christians, have enjoyed peaceful coexistence. In fact, no one perceived or called it intercultural dialogue. Interaction was simply a part of everyday life in our country. So it's only natural that our dear hometown, Baku, has now become one of the centers for intercultural dialogue a place where people from all parts of the globe and walks of life gather to make this world a better place. I'm especially thrilled to address this plenary session, whose theme has a special significance to me, both as a foul goodwill ambassador and as a passionate environmentalist. The close link between food security, peace, and sustainable development is what makes this event so relative and necessary nowadays. We all know that intercultural dialogue is an important counterforce against the global surge of racism and violence. However, its scope goes far beyond the promotion of ideas of tolerance and coexistence. Intercultural encounters also give birth to initiative ways to reach our common goals. Um, the adoption of the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development was a milestone event for the global community in its mission to ensure the well-being for both people and the planet. It is not a coincidence that the first two goals of the Agenda focus exa exactly on eradicating poverty and hunger. This reflects the common uh, understanding that only by meeting these very goals, we can build peaceful, inclusive, and sustainable societies. Um, it is uh, heartbreaking and unnatural that in the 21st century, 870 million people in the world still suffer from hunger and malnutrition all at the time when more than a third of the food is thrown away globally. Climate change is making the situation with global food security even more uncertain. At the same time, globalization has led to a loss of traditional knowledge and agricultural biodiversity. Our dependence on few main crops is determinal for our ecosystem, food diversity, and health. Throughout history, cultures and nations have developed countless ways of growing and cooking food, preserving and sharing these traditions, improves food uh, security, strengthens community resilience, and contributes to st sustainability and peace. Strengthening intercultural dialogue is thus essential for disseminating and preserving traditional agricultural knowledge. In other words, we must unite to make sure that the crops of the past 
become the crops of the future. Sharing of the food in itself, uh, a form of cultural dialogue. The culture of cuisine provides people with opportunity to come uh, closer together, overcome uh, prejudices, and better understand uh, various lifestyles. Um, in this time, international community joins efforts in using food security and nutrition to improve cross-culture relationship and promote shared prosperity. In this connection, uh, I welcome the event on interface celebration of cultural identity and diversity through food security that FAO and UN Alliance of Civilizations and other partners will co-organize with the support of Azerbaijan at the FAO headquarters in, in October. This event has evolved from the Baku process and will focus on the important role of the food in the spreading tolerance and bridging cultural differences. Dear friends, when dealing uh, with such universal issue as food security, environmental protection, and sustainable development, uh, no country or organization can do it alone. Dialogue is crucial in translating the global development agenda into action. With this in mind, we found in the International Dialogue for Environmental Action Campaign, IDEA, in 2011. Our intention was simple, to become a plat public platform and to ensure greener, safer, and healthier future for younger generation. And our slogan speaks for itself, one earth, one future. Uh, in the scope of IDEAS project uh, ranges from uh, education, uh, awareness raising, to conservation, fight against pollution, and sustainable development. And uh, over the past five years, our relatively young organization has been able to achieve remarkable results. We have planted more than uh, five million trees throughout uh, the country and not only in our country, but in other countries also. Save the endangered uh, gazelle from extinction and increase the population of gazelle from 300 to 6,000 in Azerbaijan. Uh, and launched many other conservation projects. We try to approach all our projects with a uh, hope, creative, and positive way. Among our current initiatives, our projects are to save the Caucasian uh, leopard and reintroduce the bison uh, in the Caucasus. Also, in the context of our efforts is uh, to save the Caspian sturgeon, one of the rarest and the most ancient animals on the planet. Last year, IDEA launched the multidimensional Kura River Delta Cleaning Project. The aim of this project is to improve fish stock, water quality, and the overall ecology of the riverside areas. Uh, I'm also pleased to know that several weeks ago, a joint project on establishing food gardens for low-income residents of Azerbaijan was launched in cooperation with FAO. This particular project will provide households in uh, rural areas with land, clothes, and fruit trees. The project will enable them to generate income in a sustainable way. I would like to thank the FAO partnership and the liaison office in Azerbaijan and its head, Ms. Malek Chakmak, <laughs> for all the efforts and the work they do together. Um, regardless of our race, religion, traditions, and beliefs, we live on the same planet and have a common future. Environmental challenges know no borders. The harsh reality is that those human activities that violate the laws of nature can bring us to great global disasters. People should know the value of the treasures they hold before losing them completely. Uh, and please uh, allow me to recall a quote uh, by a famous American director, producer and author, Tom Shadiak. Nothing in nature takes more than it needs. A redwood tree 
doesn't take all of the soil's nutrients, just what it needs to grow. A lion doesn't kill every gazelle, just one. We have a term for something in the body when it takes more than it shares. We call it cancer. Everyone's action, lifestyle, and habits have impact on the environment in one or another way. But I strongly believe that each human being by themselves can make a huge difference in protecting our planet. And everyone must do their part to ensure a common, sustainable future. Dear friends, I hope that during uh, your few days uh, in our country, in Azerbaijan, you had a chance to taste our delicious cuisine, visit our cultural site, and interact with the local people. I'm confident that the experience will enhance our ability to appreciate the power of diversity. Exposure to diversity and dialogue builds bridges uh, of understanding between groups, which naturally help to reduce conflicts and tension. Such bridges are not built at official meetings uh, or negotiations, but rather behind the scenes. During friendly and informal conversations, lunchtime meetups, and coffee breaks. With this in mind, I encourage you all to remain open, to dialogue at all the times. Once again, I wish you a great stay in our country, health, love, and happiness. Thank you very much.